Exactly one year ago, this site looked just like this. Behind me, just a few weeks from now, we're gonna be opening our first flagship location of Launchpad Golf. Follow along to see our last update video on what we've done inside this building. It's been just over a year when we announced the Launchpad Golf Project, where we wanted to build a fun entertainment golf experience here in Canada year round. Since then, we've opened a location at Mickelson National, and we're very lucky that we've had so many people being able to enjoy the facility and have an incredible time. With our first flagship location opening soon here at Heritage Point, we want to share our progress with you. I'm excited for you to see the completed launch pad building. Let's go inside to have a look. Here we are at the entrance to launch pad golf. Behind me, the exterior of this building is primarily complete now with the exception of landscape, Got some cleanup areas to do. Our logo's now completed above the trellis where you'd walk right in to this building. Let's go inside. We've just entered the vestibule into our lobby. Right here beside me is our check-in area. We chose to go with three individual kiosks to provide a little bit more of a concierge type feel. And then adjacent to that, there'll be a small retail area right in front of the staircase. You can see the retail display slot wall that'll be coming here soon. After that, you're gonna enter the main part of the building. So after somebody checks in, walking into the reception area, right here in front of me, there'll be a massive oversized couch, can fit about 15 or 20 people on it. Behind me, one of our main bars. I'm gonna head back over here to the kitchen now because there's some things I wanna show you over here. One of the questions I get asked more than anything else is if there's gonna be food here at Launchpad Golf. Well, here's your answer. Not only is there gonna be food, but we wanted to create a heartbeat, a hub of activity here for our guests to be able to see five, six, cooks along with our chef actually creating a curated menu specifically for our guests both inside the building and outside the building. What you haven't seen yet is what actually happens in the back of house where a lot of these food items are created and then brought here to be cooked. Let's go take a look at behind the scenes. So I wanted to bring you behind the scenes what they call the back of the house because a lot of times people don't get to see this area where the food is actually prepared before it goes to the front of the line to be cooked. This area is a big important area of that. There'll be service counters here where a lot of that preparation happens. And then back here, we have these massive walk-in coolers and freezers along with an ice maker. And then all the way back here is where the dish pit is, where all the cutlery, all the utensils, things of that nature are cleaned every day. But the size of these walk-in coolers is outstanding. One cooler, one freezer, and then one on the very end here for keg storage. We go through quite a bit of different food on any given day, so it's important to have a lot of storage. I've just walked upstairs to our second floor of this location. If you've seen any of my videos from the Mickelson National launch pad location, you would know that's just one story. Here at Harris Point, we've got two stories. Behind me on this wall, we're gonna be introducing at our grand opening some really cool tech. Over here on our bar, I'm not gonna to talk too much about it because we've actually partnered with a local company that's doing this bar top for us called Black Forest Wood Company. It is gonna be spectacular. Now it's time to head outside to look at the suites. Twenty suites on this level and 20 below us on the first level. Here on the left you can see some art installations. We've worked with some local artists, a lot more of these coming in the next week. Really excited about the way these are turning out there and great. Right here beside me is actually what two suites would be. Yes, a little bit more work to do, some audio visual installations coming early next week, but these are almost complete. Behind me you can see the targets as well, just a few more days on those and they'll be fully operational. I really hope you've enjoyed this final construction update of the, our newest launch pad at Golf location. If you haven't seen the other videos as we've documented this process, 
I'm gonna put those video descriptions in the link below. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so. I'd really appreciate it. Hit that notification bell, that like button. I'll see you next time.